Hello. <laughs> no, I have not been talking yet. Uh, well, I've been talking to somebody. Just didn't do it yet. Hello, 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 everybody. It's me again. Um. Da, 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 beans. Happy Monday, I think, maybe. Something like that. Um. I feel a little bit a, a bit better from yesterday. Um, the sicky part feels mostly gone. Um, I'm just still got some wicked ass shoulder pain, muscle pain stuff that it's been around for a couple of days. So I'm sure just because the shot was in the right arm and that's sore, it just kind of went, okay, we're going to be the same kind of sore on both sides now or something. I don't know. My body is weird. Everything about me is weird, including my cat. Oh. Really? I talk like, oh, okay, 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 okay. If I'm up close to the mic, you guys can hear a lot more, but... Like I noticed my character reacting when I took like a breath. I was like, uh, shit, did I make it too sensitive? Yesterday, I made an adjustment to the mic. I don't know if we'll see the, uh, if, no, it's probably too high because you guys are catching my keyboard now. I see that. So, yo, I'm feeling pretty good. Meds kicked in, so, you know. That's always a good thing. Just get into my mic settings and fix that again. I, no, not that one, this one. Oh, I only made it 50. Maybe I just need to make it 48 or something. Yeah, now it's not picking up my keystrokes. Well, it's picking up my space bar, but... I want my mic to pick me up from further away without picking up the rest of the world. So that I don't have to have my face buried in it. I'm watching my character every time it jumps. I know it's picking up sound I don't want. Like, where's my socks? So how is everybody this morning? Or actually afternoon, evening. Good time zone to everyone. So I don't know where everybody is. So yeah, uh, we're going to do Eva's Remains today. I don't know too much about it. It was like a, it, it's a short game. And it's a little puzzle platformer. Uh, and Gino told me about it a while ago. And I picked it up recently because it was fairly cheap during the summer stuff. I don't know if controller works or not. Should have probably looked that up on the pay on the store page. Full controller support, okay. Hopefully it can detect my controller, even though I've started it after the game. If not, we'll just have to restart the game. 
Um, anyway, so basically, here's the shortest answer of what is Evan's remains. Years after a boy genius named Evan disappears, a bizarre letter arrives. Evan wants a girl named Dysis to come find him. As Dysis, you need to solve an intricate series of puzzles to unravel sure the... You. I know, I'm not doing this thing yet. Series of puzzles to unravel the entire mystery and bring Evan home. Casual puzzle platformer female protagonist. Uh... Doesn't liken it to any other games I've ever played on stream before. Oh, okay. So yeah. And there, music just changed. Let me unmute the game. We'll switch over to that screen. And I just sworn I hit the button on my PlayStation controller to my PC. I may have to quit and restart the game. Because I feel like it'll be weird to play it without my controller. Yeah. Let's hope this doesn't crash anything. If it crashes, I'll be right back. I mean, that's the, that's the good thing, right? Bingo card space. Potential win. Where the hell is it on my desktop again? There it is. Controller is on first. Yeah, since uh, I'm feeling a little better, like I said, it said it had controller support. You liar! Liar! Biscuits. Some keyboarding it. Wait for the controller to turn off. Well, this is like considered technical difficulties or what? I don't think it should be. Saves automatically. Begin? Yes. Begin the game. My name is Evan. I'm on an uninhabited island in the Pacific. Coordinates are attached to the letter. Send Isis. So? So what? How are you feeling? Did you go to college, Nicola? Why? You know that feeling of dread when you have an exam coming up and you haven't studied? Why wouldn't I have studied? Forget it. You seem like you're a type to stay in studying. I feel like I might be sick. Right here with you, Dysis. You got this. With me, miles away, safe behind a computer screen. Relax, okay? Everything is gonna be fine. Is there only one person in the name world named Isis? I can handle this. That's what I wanted to hear. Ready whenever you are. I don't think the mouse is used at all in this.
This is really weird trying to platform with a freaking keyboard. Step by step, serve, solve the first puzzle. I figured it out. <laughs> okay, this is the reset button. Teleport button, okay. What do you think? Apparently I have a knack for solving cryptic ancient puzzles. But seriously, there are some wild gadgets here. My way, right? What are you, ex what are you expecting me to do? Swim around them? I think I just wake up like this. I didn't spend two hours on my hair to dunk it in the Pacific. How about the Evan thing? Eh, if you ask me, I don't think this is the place. Yep. Yeah. Haven't you thought? Maybe someone's just pulling your our leg. What do you mean? You know, a prank leg. Maybe he's pulling one over on us. Sending us on a wild goose chase, so we're even less likely to find him. Did you know it's incredibly difficult to imitate someone's handwriting? It's like a signature. Really? Completely unique. So no then. Well, there goes my theory. Uh, just look at this place. What would we be doing here? It's completely barren, no signs of life. Apart from half a million dragonflies, of course. Or mayflies. Whatever. You've only just gotten started, Dysus. Another one of your canned responses? Let me know when you have news.
No, my problem is, is I'm using my left hand to try to control my motion and jump at the same time. Maybe I can just one hand this. Finally, Evan. Evan, do you have any idea how much... Oh, sorry. I thought you were someone else. I'm barely seeing this blazing sunlight. Excuse me, I'm looking for a boy. Um, excuse me. Him. Him. Yes. My name is, uh, what was it again? Oh, yeah. Uh, Vanil. A uh, pleasure. Looking for a boy named Evan. Have you seen him or maybe heard something? Evan. Evan Goldstein. Never heard of him. No, it was possible. It's interesting about that notebook. At least someone's having a good time. But we consider the ah, perfect. Yeah, I really appreciate it if you could. Look, love to help you, but I'm in the middle of something here. Uh, if you'll so, if you'll excuse me. Love to kick you, idiot. Man, an explanation. What are you talking about? You said this was an uninhabited island. Now it surprises you. Thought no one else knew about this place. I know as much as you do here. Let's keep trying to get some information from him. If anyone else is here, they've got to be connected. One way or another. You know what our boy's like. No, I don't. Cut that out. Cut what out? Speaking in first person like you're right here with me. Makes me nervous. Surprised I am right here with you. I'm the one with my feet in the sand. Fine. Why don't you try to keep getting information from him? Better? Ten points for effort. Over and out. Yeah, bye. Getting water. Instant noodles, huh? Me again, my little guilty pleasure. Oh, great. I'm gonna say it just once. Move, speak, or try anything stupid and you'll regret it. Hey, hold on. Let me explain. I'm hungry, okay? I haven't eaten since, um, well, see, I can barely remember. Sit. Hey, come on, man. You believe me, right? Let's all stay calm and let's not scare the neighbors, okay? You deaf? I said sit. Look, and everything was going so well. I heard you. I heard you, okay? I wasn't gonna steal anything if that's what you were worried about. Except for your food, clearly. Excuse me for starving to death. What are you gonna do? Look for him? It's a cute game.
There we go. Super focused on your notebook. Now oh, I get it. You're a traveler and you like to draw the landscape you visit. Relax, dice us, breathe. So, can I ask what you're doing here? Can I ask what you're doing here? Oh, you can, but I asked you first. You shouldn't be here. I didn't realize I was violating the island's criminal code. It's clearly well enforced. What do you know about this place? I know that as long as I don't find Evan, I won't leave, nor will I stop asking you questions. So if you could assist in the slightest, we could both stop wasting our time talking in circles. This is an uninhabited island. How strange it seems to me that I found just found someone. I already told you, never heard of him. You may be on the wrong island. I see latitude right, 28. Oh, what a surprise. I don't believe this. It's the right island. I don't have time to be a host. That same monolith before? Man, what a strong feeling, deja vu. Yeah, I was gonna say that seemed like it was the first one. Let's see what I need to do. Hello, Mutt. How you doing? Surviving. Surviving's better than not surviving. Ooh. Those stink. Bad brain worms. <gasps> oh, yeah. I didn't ignore it, I just forgot. Might be fine by tomorrow. I forgot Sand asked me to pet the cat 38 minutes ago. I'm so shit. Also, hello, Sand. Babes. These pets are from Uncle Sand.
Oh yeah, since I got through some... I'm gonna try to work on the Patreon arts tonight. And then I can get back to working on the, the no emote. I did it a little bit the other night because I was like, I want to do a little of my own work first <laughs> before I get back into more business. Um, so there will be a matching no for the yes emote, animated emote. Uh, Chizu's the one that's saying no, of course. The inks are done, and some of the flat colors are in there, but the next thing I have to do is her markings, her dark ears, her stripes, her little nose patch, her eyeliner, and trace it across all nine frames, and try to match it up across all nine frames. be in place soon enough. Oh. Odo. We're gonna have to have a talk, buddy. He bit Chizu's neck or something. Yeah. I know he nibbles on her ears from time to time when she's eating her food. I hope it's something with her, not him. Stretch those little beans. There's the one. Seeing how many times I've been bit by him. They're like his teeth width apart. <laughs> Two fingers. <laughs> I hope it's not Odo. I've already done that today. I was just checking over the bingo stuff since I was on a mini break there, you could call it. All right. Back to the story. Can I ask you a favor? One of these days I might, you know, grow a set and feel like I can actually try to hold a conversation with different voices, but that's not today. Tell me. My license to kill? That hard to crack, huh? Doesn't even begin to describe it. What's his problem? I had enough, I wanna go home. I don't think this is the place. Come down, listen. I think I've got an idea. This better be good. Here's what we'll do. Next time you run into him, I'll whisper to you what you should say. Just repeat after me, okay? We'll give him a crack, he has to know something. Mm. Just don't put my foot in my mouth, please. Leave it to me. Oh, one last thing? Yeah. The monoliths have teleport teleportation technology. Pretty impressive, don't you think? And considering the years, they must have... Cool, I guess. Maybe Evan has some connection with this place after all. As ever, you remain keenly observant. Anyway, I'll be waiting for your signal.
Oh, I think I'm already stumped. That is not gonna happen. the tops of them to reappear. No, I know what I need to do. <laughs> For the last time. Oh no, not this time, buddy. I'm gonna shut your mouth and I'm gonna speak, got it? I'm basically eating something serious and... How do I put this? I'm wasting my time. My name is Vanille and I'm here on behalf of Upbring Labs. We're looking for someone important. A boy named Evan. Prodigy boy, missing. Maybe you've heard of him. His name has been everywhere these last few years. Actually, and if I'm being honest here, I've never... Shut up, I'm not done yet. Message for help was recently received. From an unknown island. Makes you my friend a suspect in his disappearance. Follow? Just being here on an uninhabited island means you're involved somehow. If you keep refusing to speak, I'll be forced to arrest you. So if you want to keep walking around, writing frantically in that notebook, you better start stalking. What? What? Talking, you better start talking. Neil, yeah, right? Do you mind following me? I want you to see something. What is it? Don't you see for yourself? That was unexpected. Thanks. Was an easier knock on the door? I didn't know how well that usually goes. It was fine here. Doesn't mean your neighbors share that philosophy. Did you steal from the neighbors too? Oh, I knocked on their doors. What? I already told you, begging wasn't working. You can stay. Are you serious? How long? As long as you need to. The other strangers stay in your house. For free. You look like you already have enough problems. May not be the best place, but... Living in dumps to this. That's my lucky day. So a city, huh? Oh, what's left of it? This way. This island was inhabited by a certain civilization. And the legend says time ago they created an artifact that mocked death itself, which means eternal life. That's it. Looking for immortality? That does not surprise me. Kind of cliche dream if you ask me. Never said it was for me. Okay. And what are you writing all this time? I'm translating. Translating? All these monoliths you see along the seashore, every one of them is a word. A hieroglyph? 
Let me guess, in the civilization's language. Exactly. Reading them together, they form a message. What does it say? That's a trick, I'm not sure. When I finally decipher it, we'll know once and for all once and for all the nature and more importantly the location of the artifact. Let's see, to immortality. They're the same. How is each one a character? Interesting story. Where'd you hear it? Old tale from my hometown? It's on another nearby island not too far from here. I don't mean to be rude, but you really believe in all that. City and ruins mesh legend exactly. That's proof enough, no? Well, I won't deny that. It's a lot more than what I was expecting to find. And it's hope for me. Mmm, something about saving the dude's life that walked into his house. I guess I should introduce myself. My name is Clover Amore. I bit lack courtesy back there. Until now, I was certain you were just another person searching for the artifact. Can't let anyone find it first. Relax, I couldn't care less about immortality. Just glad you didn't turn out to be the jerk I thought you were. If I do find out anything about the Seven Guy, I'll let you know. But I'm sorry to say, but I haven't seen a single soul apart from us. Yeah, even I doubt he's here. Hey, at least the monoliths are fun. Looks like they made sure the visitors didn't die from boredom anyway. Anyways, just walk around them. You kidding? That's the only interesting thing on the island. Anyway, thanks. Look at the whole eternal life thing. Look with the lost genius. Take care. So we arrest people, huh? Sound like a real cop. Better in the forest, are we? I was just saying, I'm a jack of all trades. I had to intimidate him a bit for him to spit it out, right? Couldn't come up with anything else. Give you points for creativity. Anyways, remember to be careful with your about your name. It's the second most important thing about the situation. And the first, Evan. Guess that was obvious. What do you think about the boy? Sounds credible, at least for now. Give me an hour and I'll find out about the legend. Meanwhile, don't get too far away from him. Keep trying to get as much information as you can from him. Are you serious? You heard him, he has nothing to do with this. Give him bait. Don't be so easily convinced. It's the only thread we have regarding Evan right now. What makes you so sure about that, my sixth sense? Pfft. More not to convince me. Besides, this place looks like it'll have loads of monoliths. I'll let you try to have some fun. I know Evan, believe me. He's here, it's just a matter of time before he shows up. I thought I was the one who'd find him, not the other way around. Oh, if only you knew him. Things are never simple when he's involved. Legendary Evan, huh? Can he really be here? Fine. You're the boss. I'll continue after a little nap. By little, I mean big. I'm exhausted. Rest up. You know how to reach me if you need anything. Yeah, yeah, bye. Well, you just teleport my bedroom here? Oh, what time is it? I feel like I'm hit by a truck. Good morning. Good morning, idiot. Is he sleeping? What? Isn't this thing working? What? Fence matter. Oh no, oh no, where is it? 
for me. Oh, what's this? A fly. Look. Over. What in the name? You nearly know, scared me to death. What in the world is that thing? Hey, Clover, perfect timing. I was looking for you. Anybody there? Sorry, first time someone's on to pour all my face. How are you looking for me? Something strange just happened, and I don't exactly know what to do. Well, you're the only like, human being around here. Okay, shoot. Um, first, would you mind coming in? Makes me nervous that you're still out there. Uh, do I have to enter that thing? My experience in traveling with portals, you know? No big deal. Promise me I'll keep each and every one of my atoms. Just get in here already. What am I gonna do? Fascinating. I'm out of touch with technology, but this is beyond anything I could have imagined. Prefer to go back now, I guess. Is that the sunrise? You gotta be kidding me. Are we on the other side of the world? What do I get for taking weird jobs? Must have been living under a rock. I have missed out on technology like this. Could they save me? Fascinating. Simply fascinating. You know, just where are, are we? That's gonna be a very long answer. And we don't have much time. Short answer, Evan's inventions, blah blah blah. He's the brains behind your crazy portals, huh? Trying to get it now? What is he doing on the island? That's what I came to find out. How many times do I have to say it? Sorry, I shouldn't have yelled at you. Just I don't know what to do. Well, first you need to calm down. You don't get far with your mind racing. Take a deep breath. Exhale. And then tell me what happened. All right. Take a look at what appeared here when I woke up. Also, my transmitter seems to be missing. Hmm. Mayfly? Any idea who might have done it? I'm trying to figure out. Something tells me it was Evan. I feel like he's taunting me, like he's saying, Hey, I'm here, come get me. What makes you think that? Well, first this is a sealed room. You can only get in and out using the portal. Portals are open with the key Upbring gave me. Don't let the name fool you, it's just a little device with a button. Every key has a unique ID. What I'm getting at is the only person who can open the portal is me. Nobody else should have been able to get in here. Unless, well, unless you're the creator of the entire portal system, I guess in that circumstance no key is probably no problem. I'm just speculating here. And why a drawing? Beats me. Like I said, I think the drawing is a red herring. He had to leave something to prove he was here. Could have been anything. But I guess the drawing of a mayfly makes it more mysterious. Does all that show something he would do? For Nicola's descriptions, I'd say he would. Who is Nicola? Bombarding me with questions doesn't help, you know? I need to know the context in order to help you. Alright, well, I've been missing for years, but recently revealed to upbring that he's here on this island. Asked me to come meet him for some weird reason. Wait, wait, wait. What? Slow down, will you? Take his upbring. It's the second time you've mentioned it. It's a scientific research and development firm. Evan was an important member. Can I go on? Perfect, continue. They sent me to find Evan in constant communication with Nicola from Upbring. I woke up and there's a drawing in the room. The transmitter I was using to talk to Nicola disappeared. Better? The important part is Evan may be here. My orders are to meet with him. So I guess that's the only thing I've got to worry about. But not knowing exactly what's going on is troubling. What if there's someone else here? What if they want to hurt me? What does Evan have to do with this island? Is everything just part of a big joke of his? Besides all that, why did they send me? I'm starting to get why you, you were so desperate. 
Shouldn't they give you more details if they send you on a mission like that? Sounds like you barely have any idea what's going on. I'm surprised you barely have any idea what's going on. Didn't you ask them for the details? I tried. Didn't seem like the conversational types. Don't forget that the island hides a secret that anyone would want. Kevin and Orupring may also be looking for this artifact. Just a theory. But it wouldn't be logical for the island to be a target because of that. Though I can't imagine what kind of motives they might have. If you're not a big corporation, it's hard to think like one. But I guess money is always behind everything. What do you think I should do? Finish the job, meet with Evan. Is your sudden done, even though I know what I should be doing. Will said that sooner or later Evan will show up. But that's not the major issue. Rather, it's not knowing what I'm going to find on this island along the way. Summarize, you're scared. Shut up. Not scared. It's just insecurity about the what may happen. <laughs> Jesus. Uh-huh. You yeah, alright? In the middle of nowhere on an uninhabited island looking for a missing boy. How do you think I feel? I don't think I can do it. Not without Nicola. I mean, you don't have to do it all yourself, you know. You feeling generous? Do you have something in mind? I don't know how to call it having something in mind per se. But you could join me in deciphering this message. Because if Evan or whoever is here, it wouldn't be a stretch too soon they're looking for the same thing. It's only a matter of time until we cross paths. The message tells us where the artifact is. It may also tell us where he is. You seem to be pretty sure that Evan's looking for the same thing. Nah, I just can't come up with anything better. But maybe it'll feel safer if we stick together. You're acting like I'm some damsel in distress. I take care of myself, you know. Right, I think we'll hold it on that note because I need more water. My mouth is dry. And there's an ad coming anyway. So I'm going to take a quick break to get that water. And I'll be right back, and uh, everybody else, uh, this way you don't miss anything out on the story. So, I'll see you guys in just a few.
I normally don't drink my water that fast. That's a good thing. Means I might actually be a little on the hydrated side for once in my life. Ad break's almost over. Fresh as a little goober. everybody we're definitely being a little quiet and that's okay everybody's doing good I can take care of myself, bitch. Anyway, I read that it's not unreasonable to assume that Evan's looking for the same thing. If that's the case, what if he's already found it? I remind you, he's been missing for a long, long time. Not that I've been able to do virtually anything. Wouldn't worry about that. Why not? Doubt he has this. the things I've jumped through so far. Um, your notebook? Was engraved on the monolith so far. It wasn't my imagination. The monolith did repeat itself. Blinds it. And that'll help us because you'd be surprised how difficult it is to get this notebook. Even for a gigantic, gigantic corporation. I think you may be slightly underestimating their power and influence. You can't get something if you don't know it exists. But the notebook's existence is a secret. You can say that. That's why I'd like to believe that not only am I here on time, it's a way that not only am I here on time, that I've got the upper hand. Anyway, if we're following the same path, I find the artifact, you find Evan. Win-win. You gain by helping me. Does it always have to be about gaining something? Well, guess not. Just want to make it clear. I'm not afraid and I don't need anyone to take care of me. But uh, given our similar objectives, it makes them stick together. Temporarily. Sure. Oh, and you'll walk in front. Whatever you want. I'll wait for you on the island. Wait, I'm coming too. Sure. Right, sealed room. Would you uh, open the portal, please? I'll try, I almost forgot. And, uh, are you going like that? I mean, you're in pajamas. Oh, that. Of course, people dress right. I'll um, portal, you go out, and I'll catch up with you. Okay.
Everything ready? I think so. By the way. I can't get out of my mind. I bring one him to make certain this island remained hidden. Which leads me to a really puzzling question. How did you find it? Courtesy of a friend? He found it. And then gave me the notebook. Island's location is in the notebook. Don't ask me how he got it, though I haven't the slightest idea. Alright, what's your friend's name? Vincent, Vincent Ball. I see. Why? I want to make sure it wasn't someone from upbring. Imagine anyone who leaks information ends up regretting it. You're speaking as if they control the entire island. Yeah, I don't see a single trace of human activity. Yeah, who knows. Maybe they have a secret underground base or something. Really hoping you're wrong. Their act is my only hope for her. Oh, that's right, you mentioned you want it for someone else. Did you elaborate on that? It's uh, my little sister. What happened to her? Let's say I'm well at her health. Not in the best condition. And uh, she doesn't have much time left. Oh, I'm sorry, I had no idea. But can I say something before you ruin it even more? Oh, what's your name? Isis. trying to type something. Okay. I noticed chat reconnected and I wasn't sure if it fucked up slime or not, but it didn't seem to fuck up slime. Yeah, that's strange. Thought I heard Dices. That's what I said. I know, weird name. Uh, yeah, bizarre. Why? Oh, nothing. Don't mind me. What's going on with this place? I'm, uh, sorry to hear that. Don't worry. I'm already here, right? Something wrong with the Neil? I don't know. It's just, um... You go up. You go ahead. I'll catch up, okay? As you wish. God. Got myself into. Better get news from you soon. Wait, wait, wait. I wanna make sure I'm getting this right. You're really gonna play against me. Why not? Which guy? Does he really have no idea? Time to play a little joke on him. Oh well, it doesn't matter. Let's begin then. Fine. Oh, but first... Just want you to know I'm not very good. Don't be too harsh, okay? Don't worry, I won't. Hey, best man win. the reveal, huh? What are you up to, Evan? Thank you. 
That was neat. Zippy. Yeah, too crazy. Everything alright? Hmm. Did I say something wrong back there? Why? Because your abject horror on your face for the last ten minutes. Uh, it's just, you know, trying to adjust to the whole situation. I understand. What did you say the last name was again? EMR. Okay. Lost relief. Why? Just fresh my memory. Sorry. I'm bad with names. Don't you think it's curious the monolith mechanisms are still working? A little. Oh, maybe I'm not surprised since the civilizations... This civilization also apparently figured out eternal life. Maybe their energy source is also unlimited. I think about it. Makes a lot of sense for upbringing to target this place. Mortality, unlimited energy, what else? Can a place like this really be under their control? No one's been here in decades. My theory about an underground lab would explain it. What's that? You hear that? Um, yep. What is it? Nothing to worry about. Didn't expect to be free of wildlife, did you? They'll leave me behind, don't you? determine if there's something I can do to have a different outcome here. If there was
So that would get me up there. How do I make that happen? Yeah. Realize what it was in the like the last fucking second. It's a bit a lot easier to do with a controller, I swear to god. Eventually figure them out. I think I've been thinking about. Over, would you mind paying attention for a second? I'm listening. I can write and do that at the same time. Well, help the civilization and all that. They were capable of creating eternal life. Why is nobody here? They were immortal. They shouldn't have died, which means they should be here, right? 
So, Eternal is my son. Are you listening to me? Yeah, yeah, Vanel. You're totally right, I agree. One who... Perfect. Nope, not listening. Hey. Something touched me. What happened? Bush. What? Someone came out of the bush and went running past me. I think he touched me. Uh... Where was he? I don't see anyone. Where he gone? It was really fast. I swear. Should be a monkey or something. It's someone, not something. You know what I saw? It wasn't a monkey. Did you ever see his face? Well, no, not really. It happened before I could react. I know it was a person. Darkness is playing tricks on you. So you don't believe me. I believe that you should calm down. And if it was a person, even that person wanted to hurt us. We are two, and here she is one. There's no need to be scared. I'm not scared. Win. This arguing is pointless. said cake and then touched giraffe. Just one option left. Dalit. That's it. So, I choose Dalit. Alright. That's my spy. You lose. What the? Did I have caught on his... That can't be. I must be dreaming. What just happened? Calm down, Vincent. It was just luck. You got cocky. Next time I'll crush him. Good game. You know, first game is always just a warm-up. I can really play full strength. Um, what? I thought we were only playing once. Who says Spy Master 1? Who plays Spy Master once? Not that I don't want to. But you know, things to do. Yeah, 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 I get it. Father's duty calls. Ah, fell old enough to enter a bar. She's my sister. If you'll excuse me. Get that like that. Then I need to change.
damn it. Made it over. Hello, worm. How you doing? How's it going? How's what going? Translations. Oh. I think I'd like it better if I had a, was able to use a controller, but for some reason it didn't want to recognize my controller even after restarting it. So, I'm one-handed gaming this. My page says it does controller support, but not mine. Thankfully, it's not like, you know, precision platforming. It has plenty of give. But, uh, it's Evan's remains. I don't know, it's, it's a puzzle platformer. Gino recommended it to me, like, months ago. And it was quite on sale during the, uh, summer stuff. That was my phone, wasn't it? Yes, that was my phone. Water's cold. I was just drinking. <laughs> I already got one cup of water down today. I actually took a break at the first hour because I needed to refill. That's an improvement. I'll do some mild stretching. Feel better than yesterday, but that neck is still webbing from one arm to the other across the shoulders and the back, the upper back neck still just is like, mm mm. I don't really want to like, put my arms above my head. I mean, I can, but it's not very comfortable. Uh, probably at the two hour mark and I'll take another break and I'll heat up the little thingy I have and rest it across my shoulders again because that seemed to have felt better no, I'm going to do it at in, on the next break Now you gotta give breaks in between heating and stuff on your muscles, so... That's why I'm waiting for my two-hour break. Oh, I already what I have. Okay. Eternal is my son, and eternal will become. He who not abandons our sacred... I just stopped. That's everything I got so far. So? So what? What do you think? Mm. It's too early to make any conclusions. Doesn't sound sensible. The language is elementary at most. Uh, almost confused. That's because it's not only an ancient language, but it's also completely different than ours. Some words are probably gonna sound silly. And translate a completely unknown language to English is probably going to sound bad. Meaning remains. I think it means something like eternal shall be the one who remains on our sacred or something. 
or sacred something. Do we take it literally or is this some kind of metaphor? I was wondering that too, but it doesn't exactly come with instructions. How they used to write millennia ago. Grand language full of symbolism, alliteration, subtle references, wordplay. Must have missed the memo on that one. That kind of language never gets to the point. It seems really pretentious. It makes me nervous. Well, maybe they wanted to add one more level of difficulty. How so? Obfuscating their writing it makes it harder for fools or thieves to uncover the artifact. Making a riddle could act as a screening mechanism. Makes sense, I guess. Or maybe they just like being pretentious. Anyway, it's best to wait until we have the complete translation. We can draw our conclusions. I suppose that works. Can you tell me about these monoliths? Are you solving the puzzles too? Not sure if they're necessary for the artifact to take effect. Something tells me it's not a good idea to avoid them. Why not? They had to be built for a reason. Hmm. Well, at any rate, you shouldn't be solving them. How does that help you find Ethan? Yeah, I haven't seen you walk around a single one so far. I don't want to get away from the seashore. I don't plan on touching the water. They're pretty fun. It's the best choice. Don't deny that. Lying through my teeth here. In reality, there's something about them that intrigues me. Not sure what it is, but I feel like solving them is the only way to find out. Anyway. Bye bye now. Running away from you yet again. The reset button. Shit. Oh. That's why it's got a reset button. This is all like a timing thing. I need that up there, but... I need this gone. Stopping me from getting up there. Mm. Green must do workies. <laughs> to be doing is, I can't even show you guys, but I'm going to be teleported back to the other side. I can then run from the upwards platform over, over here above me and then jump over. I'm not sure how I get back over there.
You need the platform to be down to jump on the walls. I need... Yes. To get from there to there, it appears that I do. There's no way to reach that from here. Or the other one from the reset block. figure over is like this. I can't make this jump here to the middle. What I want to do is be able to run over here and on this when it's up. That doesn't do it either. Be on the other one now to run across. <laughs> the only way to get it up is here. So I do not know how I'm supposed to get up there now. I had a thought there, but I did not. to make this jump while the top platform's up.
It does have the option to skip puzzles. I wasn't really looking to skip, though. I feel like you might have too much faith in me. Yes, I've noted that, but I'm not sure, like, okay, so that I could do that, but how do I get back over to the top one? Alright, if anything is figured it out, feel free to tell me what I need to do. I've reset the whole thing. I presume this is what we mean. <laughs> Oh, okay. Uh, fall down. You go there again.
Should I go to the right platform or should I go to the floor? Probably the right one. Thank you. That's what I was trying to do, I just couldn't figure out the one step I was missing. <laughs> Thank you, Worm. <laughs> what a view, I gotta admit, the place is beautiful. tell him? I don't know why, but... I swear. What would they gain? Ah! Think about all this just raises even more questions. Whatever, not my problem. I'm here to do my job. That's what I intend to do. Hello, camera. I think you forgot that I'm still up here. the blue one to be up again.
And I can't. Jesus. <laughs> yeah, that. That's what I needed to do. Yep, I knew it all along, just testing you guys. God. 16 monoliths and counting. There are a bunch more ahead of us. I guess it'll be a long night of translations. I imagine we'll stop to rest at some point, right? Um... I'm kind of following you all night. It's still too early to stop. How do you know? You didn't even look at your watch. Strange. My watch has stopped. Is it broken? I don't know your watch isn't broken. If you can read minds, it's probably time to confess. Ah, not even the worst psychic. He wastes his abilities on you. You're just too easy to read. I'm my therapist. No, but it's the same face I made as soon as I looked at my watch after arriving on the island. For some reason, neither watches nor compasses work here. I don't want to think about it. But bring had some secret base somewhere on the island. I could have raised an electromagnetic field big enough to interrupt electronic devices. So that way they could hide the island from satellites and radar. Would that be the case? Hey, I'm sorry, alright? I was just joking. Huh? You mad at me? Oh no, I was just thinking about something. Where were we? Oh yeah. My legs are killing me. I'm hungry. Let's at least sit down for a minute. Please? Can't afford to. I don't know what you're thinking. I think if you hurry and try to waste as little time as possible, you'll be more efficient and you'll achieve more in less time. But really, fatigue leads to mistakes which just cost more time. It would usually take you an hour, now it takes you three. Long run, you'll lose more time than you think you're saving. Not to mention, now you'll need twice the amount of rest to recover again. I understand your termination, and I know your little sister can't wait, but you only reach your maximum potential if you rest properly, without overexerting yourself. You feel better, and your body will thank you. Believe me. It's not like you're trying to sell me something. I know what I'm saying. I'll just teach you these kinds of things in the hard way. You win. Yay. I'll go with Trano. Impressive. Hit the nail on the head. What are you expecting? What are you up to, Clover? You never make that move. Clover? Have you ever bet? Spymaster? Never. Does the idea sound interesting? Not really. Could make money. I've done it. Not to be rude here. Your appearance doesn't exactly scream financial advice. You know what they say about appearances. Eh, I like the game, but I don't think it's worth taking too seriously. Why not? You're not bad. I don't know. Spymaster's always just been a hobby for me. I think we'll go ahead. Oh, I've got more important things to worry about than gambling. I'll pause it here. Um, so yeah, another ad break's gonna run. I'm gonna take a break. Hey, if you're not already following, please do. Follows are anonymous. Uh, also, 100% free. Uh, we do a lot of chill stuff around here. So I'll be back in about five, and uh, I'll see you guys then.
I walk away and people talk. The fuck? Hello, she's a uh, hello, Gino. How you both doing? Yeah, I think I made the mic too sensitive. What'd Cheezy do? I mean, besides being adorable, she's always adorable. <gasps> it is! My chat did freeze up. Damn it. Chat? Chat. There we go. does not sound good.
That does not sound good at all, Gino. This is just still too low. It's dead. Apparently bacon doesn't mean unoccupied. That too. It's been freaking cold where you all live. And since your place is basically my place, I don't know if they use different construction for the pipes there, but I know ours are just PVC. It's not that, and if it is, that they fix that shit fast. Water damage is no joke. I can't you that much. thing I know is they need to check that shit out because they own it, not you. <laughs> so I've got the worm thing around my neck right now to make my back feel better. Focus it just on the shoulder. Looks like there's a thing called a bed buddy. It's got plastic beads in it. I think it's beads and not buckwheat. Yeah, I just feel like beads. You heat it up in the microwave for a little bit. That weight to it so it can kind of hang itself in place but it's also got like two loops at the end so you can wrap it into itself like tie it into itself for lack of a better word anyway we left off with uh, Vincent and Clover Talking about gambling.
We get the sounds of things scurrying in our walls, but life doesn't go to sleep in the winter here. You recommended it to me. I bought it during winter sale. And I decided today, I don't want to do Power Wash. Let me see these other games that I've got. Because guys, I have got games. Okay, there's games on my desktop that I have to get through play and still. <laughs> I picked up Melatonin. Alright, it's, it's a rhythm game for lo-fi music. Um, then there's the matter of Portal 2, and maybe some Lethal Company, which I've only played once. Need to revisit Helvetia and Crab Champions. And there's Baron Breakfast, Tiny Kin, and Spirit Tea, which are all RPGs that will take about 25 plus hours each to finish. <laughs> Slime Rancher 2! Seasons After Fall will take another 9 or so hours. Freedom Planet 2, I need to wait for my hand to not hurt. Adamari I'd like to try some more of. Lunastis is like a 9 hour game, I think. I did buy Word Factory, and then I have another game called Q, uh, Apico, Endling, and Ukulele. Plus the other modes of the Finding Hog games we were playing yesterday. I bought a few of those things lined up. And then I still have a list where I'm taking suggestions from others because I'm still trying to do retro games to get better at that stuff. I need to do that once a, once a week. Which seems to kill my hand for... ...continuing, uh, Grim Planet. And then I just keep buying more games because I'm a fool, I guess. I don't know. I have too many things I want to play. I don't stream enough hours a day. I have other things I have to do during the day, too, so that doesn't make it any fun. Anyway. Got more important things to worry about than gambling. Like what? My family? I see. I love playing. For a few seconds, I just forget about everything else. It's a brief moment. Momentary trance. Which I become one with the game. I didn't live without Spy Master. I achieved a lot thanks to playing it. Pretty much everything I have. Betting? Yep. Because I always win. Are you sure? Bermusia? Assassin, am I right? Again? No. No, 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 no. How oh, didn't I realize? You okay? Yeah, it's just really hot here. What's wrong with me? Why can't I beat him? Buying games will help me achieve enlightenment. <laughs> Don't you think? I'd like to agree, but honestly, I didn't pay much attention. I'm telling you, I'm not sure it's not my imagination. Or I'm telling you, I'm sure it's not my imagination. I know it's getting progressively harder, and the difficulty curve is all over the place. The strangest thing in all of this is you. Huh? Me? Why? 
Since you arrived here, you haven't stopped talking about Evan, Upbring, or Seeker Bases. All of a sudden, you start to talk about college. What I'm trying to say is, who are you exactly? Not a secret agent? Ah. It's weird when I'm not the one asking questions. Well. Well, we have... Photo ass on camera. And both cats on camera. How you doing, buddy? You gonna lick me? Take your head rub. Calling it a boop. The upbringing hired me to come to the island. Their motives are completely unknown to me. But you do know Evan, right? That's why they sent you. Never so much as smoking a word with a guy. Had you worked with Upbring before then? Never give up. I don't get it. Why you? Doesn't make sense for them to send, I don't know, a rescue team or something? According to Upbring, it's no use trying to understand Evan. Or at least that was the excuse they used with me. Yes, Evan seemed to know about me without knowing me knowing him. You don't wonder why? I wonder, all right, but I have no idea. Is there something special about me? I doubt it. Maybe he just randomly picks somebody. For whatever reason he wants to achieve. So he wasn't kidnapped? He disappeared of his own volition? I already told you, Clover. I don't have the slightest idea. I guess it's as good as mine. First Rev, I thought you were here because of him, too. For a moment, I thought that whatever he was up to involved multiple people. I've already discounted that hypothesis. Sounds like you're gonna be the guinea pig for some dark experiment. How would you accept a job like that? It sounds dangerous. Terrifying. Anyway. I was supposed to say this, but they offered me money. I mean, of course they did. That's how a job worked. No, Clover. I mean, they offered me a ton of money. More than I ever imagined making for my entire life. Something tells me you do have something special after all. At least special for Evan. Or, well, whoever is behind this, you get the idea. But what is it? What is so special about me? Ah. I'll go with thought trying to answer these questions just seems to raise even more questions. In any case, that's why I accepted. Any trouble? No nice way for me to say this. I just love money. I've always loved it. Eh, can't say it. Out feeling like scum of the earth. People like to pretend. I don't care about material things. I don't care about money. Pfft. Everybody wants money. The only difference is I'm happy to admit it. Whether you like to accept it or not, money makes life much, much easier. Like, you know, that's why I want it. For an easy life. And not just because I'm greedy. I grew up in a family where we lived paycheck to paycheck. Money was always a sore spot for our parents. They fought constantly. Being offered that amount just to come find Evan seemed too good to be true. But it wasn't. That's why I don't care that much. I don't care what Evan wants. I don't care if he knew me. I don't care what people think. Or if my life may be in danger. I don't care if I'm doing the right thing. If there's money involved, you can count me in. The wrong admitting what makes you happy. 
I will have something, as long as you're not hurting anyone. Maybe I'd hurt someone as long as there's money, maybe I don't care. God, I'm awful. Sitting with the altruist here isn't exactly healthy. Contrast makes me feel even worse, you know? Am I an altruist? Look at yourself. You're doing this for someone in your family. They had to help me without asking anything in return. I believe there comes a time when you realize all the things you've been worrying about all these years, they don't actually matter. When you pass the time your whole life willfully ignoring the things that are truly valuable, but it's not what really hurts. What really hurts is that you knew what mattered all along. Deep down, you always knew. You just decided to live your life that way. Even that later, there would be time for everything else. There'll be time for your family later. There'll be time for your friends later. Right now, just think about your problem. And you realize that you realize that later is an excuse. It doesn't exist. There is no later because it's already far, far too late. In that moment, you realize you're put on this planet. The more important you realize, you realize the things. That are worth living for? The ones you remember when you're about to die? The ones that make you happy? Yeah, ironic. Learning the lesson when there's nothing else you can do. But I guess that's how it works, right? Thought I couldn't feel any worse for just wanting money. But hey, congratulations, I feel even worse. Don't forget that... Just don't forget those that are important to you. I won't. You know, that doesn't make sense. You sound like an old man on his deathbed. I don't know how old you are, but you look like you still have three quarters of your life left. Did I see something wrong? Completely right, Vanille. Why do I bother worrying? Um, I... forgot to thank you. You know, for everything. I had to be here on my own, I wouldn't have lasted much longer without losing it. I think that most people look at this place, I'm sure most folks would turn around. Don't worry about it. Um, we should go on, shouldn't we? What happened to your immense tiredness? On second thought, I can probably keep going until midnight. It should make sense if I knew what time it was. Whatever. Brief rest was enough to keep going. We can stop when we get when we get too tired. I'll clean up then. I have thoughts, but I'm not sure what they are yet. Well, I'm not sure I want to voice them yet. That's more, I think, the accurate thing to say. What I think the story is and what's going on here. Yeah. God, I can't see anything. Hmm? Is that a tower? It is. Why don't we go to the tower? Oh, you don't want to go to the tower?
Uf. Okay, that works. I was like, what if, what if I don't need to get that other thing up? Maybe that's like a red herring. Hey. No, it must be boring you with my theories. Listen to this. I think Upring does have a base somewhere on the island. Where they did at some point, at least. Back here is certainly unique enough to pique their interest. Heaven being here makes that all more evident. Here's what I think happened. Upring discovered the island and became interested in it long ago. So first they undertook to hide it from the rest of the world. They raised an electromagnetic interference field to hide the island from radar and satellite images, which until today seemed to be working just fine. It would also explain our malfunctioning watches. So I came up with another thought. Despite their efforts, Upring was never able to discover the island's secret. Neither how the energy works nor how to find the artifact. Why you may ask? I believe, because of your notebook, Clover. It's the last piece of the puzzle. I was thinking about it before you s about what you said before, and I think you got it right. Civilization wasn't going to leave riches and treasure for just anyone to find, but they created the notebook. In any case, time passed and upbrings attention drifted away from the island. Although, of course, they never stopped guarding it. This is when Evan comes in. At some point, they entrusted him with a task they couldn't achieve. And, uh, well... That's what I got so far. Still don't know where I fit in. What do you think? That's not over. Try with him now. It's not Clover. You just assumed there was nobody else on the island, you fool. Well, that one was considerably easier than the others. they're ramping up in difficulty. Worm helped me with one of the puzzles I was just like stuck on for the longest time. I was like, all right, fine, what you got? <laughs> it was just one step I was missing. If I tried to do the puzzle again, I assure you I would forget what the hell it was. That's how I work. I work. I remember things long enough to use them. Well, uh, where are you? I'm not getting news from anybody. Uh. 
He'll remember the emotions attached to a situation more than I remember the situation. That's what I was trying to say. They already, she already said, like, you know, that there was, a uh, difficulty was different between them, like, it wasn't increasing, as sometimes there was one that was just harder. Oh, what the hell are these symbols now? Clover, stop talking, dum dum. Uh, is everything okay? Oh, I'm sorry. I just noticed you were there. The senior here is so gorgeous, you know. Sometimes I lose myself for hours just looking at it. Don't you think this world is too beautiful for us? Huh? Not Clover. Who are you? Our time to talk will come, Tysis. Hey! Damn it, I wasn't able to see his face. How did he know? Could be. Heaven? No. That voice. I've heard it somewhere else. This time going so slowly. 8 p.m. Almost time. For Christ's sake. Why is he taking so long? God, finally. Hey. How's it going? Since when is this place so clean? Don't tell me you. Ah, uh, how would I? It was Dysus. Of course it was me. I have no excuse. We continue where we left off. I want my rematch. I still have to check on Dysus. She's already eight and she listened to her song and now she's sleeping like, well, like a baby. Over. Really want to wake her up? I know. You don't need to thank me. Okay, you win. I'll have your rematch. The characters in, in, in this design, because... I don't know about her, but these two, I think they look nice. Something about her look is bothering me. By just the really big eyebrows. This time, though, I want to propose something. What is it? Nothing special. I just thought we could place a little bit. Is that so? What's on your mind? You're good at this. Sure, a little bit of risk doesn't scare you, does it? I win. Your house is mine. And I just want to look for some other place.
Your face is glorious. Joking, joking, Clover. Not really. What I truly wanted was. Sure. You beat me, it's yours. I'm joking, right? No, I have no sense of humor. I have to leave here pretty soon anyway. Honestly, I have no idea what would happen to it once gone. I'm gone. Maybe you showed up at the right time, Vincent. I don't get it. Isn't it your house? It is. So? Why do you have to leave? Where? Long story. Want the house? It's yours. Of course, only if you manage to defeat me. Which, of course, is not gonna happen. You little shit. It does sound bad, huh? It doesn't sound bad. I like this place. No one knows me around here. Good. In peace. What about me? What if I win? You decide. Whatever you want. I don't have any money, at least right now. Uh, let's just say I have a way of acquiring them. But money, I can get it. Think about it. Yeah. You no. Know, anything is, I want most in life. Can't be bought. Something that really exists. Doesn't matter. I thought of something. I'm all ears. If I win, you leave. And here I thought our friendship was just starting to bloom, Clover. Don't get me wrong. You can visit me anytime you want. What I mean is, if I win, you go back out there, back wherever you came from. See, Vincent, I don't know what kind of fool you take me for. You don't need to be a genius to realize you're hiding from something. If I win, I want you to go back and face it. Ha ha ha. Fortune teller all of a sudden? Look, I don't know what you think you know, but whatever. Find you in. I'll get out of here. Gotta be the best. Be better than him. Let my guard down last time. This will be different. And your assassin is, I win again. It's only bright for nighttime. Sort of too bright, I'd say. So, is it hotter than usual? Since either. I 
shouldn't have did. Much story interspersed with puzzles, yes, and this is one puzzle I don't understand. I know what I need to do. It does have a, a skip puzzle feature. <laughs> it be, but I figure you guys have a tendency to know the answers when I get fucking stuck. What are treatment? Plant? What is this place? What was this place? back where it started so I can get an idea. Thank you. 
Aw, poor Chitter. What is achievable? If that's there. enough to do anything. This is up. I can bounce off of this, reach there. What we want to do then is to jump off of that ledge and land back here. Get up into that piece over there. Need to find a way to make that middle piece disappear. Can't even do that much. I can't jump up high enough to get to that one there. about it too hard. over and hit this. It'll go like that. It's not enough. Fuck. 
Last thing I wanted to do was that. Grumble, grumble, grumble. What am I doing wrong? Supposed to make it over there. Got it. I 
accepting help if anybody's got some. <laughs> be gone. I'm gonna get rid of it. Jump off the top left ledge onto the bounce pad. Gina. You sign of the missing one? Neil. I got your tongue. Oh, I'm sorry. Everything in order? Really, you seen a ghost. Oh, yeah, that would be par for the course. Um, just checking here, but you didn't just play a joke on me, did you? What are you talking about? He's too straight laced. Over. I think I was right. About what? I'm not alone. Oh. Head break started. How about we pause here? We'll uh We'll visit the cats. Yeah, that's it. Visit the cats. pets in and all that stuff. Yay, cats, exactly. And we got these bozos. I'm not really sure if they're considered cats or not. They're weirdos. But you know what? They take after me. As I watch your eyes opening at me. You feeling? Okay, well, Uncle Gino said to pet you. And to give you cookies. Not that you can hear me because you have now become deaf. Oh, boo boo. Where's that your spot? I think that was one of the spots on your belly. But it's also an abused spot. Leave me alone! Stop picking on me! You're getting pets from Uncle Gino. That better? I'm allowed to pick on you a little. Hey, you got other boo boos on your face. Child, what are you doing to yourself? Gino says hi. Fish? 
Yeah, yeah, look at my face. That's not my face. My neckline. Up here. Here. Hey. Am. Fucking you up here. You want fish? <laughs> Cookies? Oh, I think she just changed her mind. You don't like these cookies, so we don't have to worry about that. These are auto specific cookies. He was asking for those earlier. That's not cheesy cookies. It's like cheesy cookies. That smell like cheesy cookies? Go in there and get one. Oh, take them out. I'll help you out. She took just one. Give me five? Come on, I just want five today, okay? You five? Oh, you suck! You suck! Yo, is that hard? You little suck. You get special cookies out of it. I'm sure they fall out. Yeah. She's ready to go steal his. Do he nibbles her ears? She was gonna steal his cookies. He's like, go ahead, I'm just gonna sniff your ear. Maybe take a snack. I'm just gonna take a bite out of you. Gonna smack her. I know that face from my boy. I hear his gears clicking. He's got two cookies there, why don't you steal them? Don't wanna steal them? Don't want to steal them because the camera's on you guys right now, so you don't want to be looked at as a bad cat, huh? Got it? Whoa, that water's cold. Get your collar on upside down again. I did. Cutie pie. Can you eat your cookies? I try sometimes. What? That's his cookie. Don't you look at me. Don't you look at me like that. Photos oh, allowed to have cookies too, you know. 
even if he's not very good at eating them. Oh yeah, they're both naked today, aren't they? Yeah. See? He licked her ear. Maybe she's allergic to his spit. I mean, that's what people are allergic to, right? Can I die in this game? Um, not that I have discovered. I think the correct answer is uh, no. <laughs> They're all unlikely to happen. That's what voting's for, right? Ah, <laughs> uh, look at that. Gino's being a nice guy. I've been told I have to drink water. I think in all fairness, I did forget. Oh. Well, I haven't had anything to drink in the last hour. Somebody just told me I had to drink, right? Somewhere. Worm did, yes. Yeah, it was earlier. That's why I forgot to drink for a while. <laughs> oh, there you go. <laughs> the I died also got in. Catfish, hydrate, and stretch. I'm gonna try to stretch. So just... <laughs> oh, look at that. Kefka winning. <laughs> Another person lurking has won! So is the way of the Jinpo stream. Jin Jinpu stream. See, and there's Nozomo. Nozomo. God damn it, Nozomo. Oh, his news always fucking me up. <laughs> it is stretching my brain. Just like Portal on Friday, did I tell you guys? Like after I got done with Portal on Friday? Actually probably I didn't say anything because I haven't really talked too much because everyone's been pretty quiet. Um... Yeah, I kind of conked out for a couple hours on the couch on Friday after... After playing Portal, I think it... Really used a lot of my brain energy that it was just like, No, you're going to bed now. Okay, good night. Bye-bye now. Go to sleep. <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot the claps. A uh, clap for my there's Kefka's claps. Nozomu's. Why can't I get it right? Nozomu. I have to say it like twice. And I got rid of that I fucked up someone's name thing. I think it's because I keep trying to say no in front of it. If I just say Zomu, I'll get it right. Anyway, we're not alone. Did you see someone? Did they be listening to us? I better be careful about what I say. We should get to a safe place for it. You know what? Nah, never mind. It's my imagination. Like a sleep does these things to you. Ha. Hey. I'm kind of getting tired here. Maybe we could call it a night? Come on. Sure, it wouldn't hurt. Come on, let's more and we get some rest. What do you think? What? Just two. A single one more. Roger. Overweight. Yeah? I think it's possible to use water as an energy source? Not the least technological person I know, but 
Yes, it is possible. I'm busy with the flaming trash bin at work. Nozo or Nas? Well, Nozo. Okay. Ah, uh, yes, his builder's boner dollar in the trash can fly. Flaming fire. And that one looks familiar. Why? <laughs> Shit. I also don't use everybody's emotes as much as I could. Aha, I see. That's one I don't have access to. So that's a tier 2, tier 3, or a bits reward. That's why I don't recognize it. Or if it's an FFZ, maybe. I don't know. anymore I feel like an idiot. No, oh, that would be a witchy emote. Just know it's one I don't have. Yeah, exactly, Kefka. Hydroelectric dams, duh. I don't think so. was. Alright, I regret waking you guys up. You're being sloppy sounding. <laughs> it's a little annoying. Hmm. You too. Calm down. There. See, look, Cheezu, it's not just you I stopped. I'm gonna stop him. You're clean enough, buddy. <laughs> Hard to guess. It does look like a water treatment plant, that's for sure. You know, I am the least suitable person for this kind of question. Do you see someone else around here? Why don't you ask Evan when you find him? How funny. Got to do my auto fans. Teleporty. What did that turn that one into? Teleporty. Teleporty this. I like that. Oh. I don't want to teleporty this, but I want that one to be turned off. I get up there. Like that. Hang on here. I go like this. I go like that. 
Not like that. It does the thing I'm looking for, but I don't think I'm doing something right here. Oh. I need is that piece to be there. It has a reset button which only tells me like some things are Not sure if what I was doing was the right thing. I 
had my fingers on the wrong keys that time. I almost fucked it up again. Okay, we said two more puzzles and then we were going to sleep. I've already done this one. repeated a word somewhere. So, I think that's enough for today. I, I speak for both of us when I say I could collapse any second. Maybe the fatigue, you know, started playing tricks on us. Don't make fun of me. Or you're gonna sleep outside. That was my plan to begin with. Never gone on an adventure without my sleeping bag. Psh, whatever then. matter? Don't tell me. Feeling some pity for me? Shh. You wish. Sleep on the floor. I'm feeling compassionate today. Lucky me. Coming? I have all night. Interesting snoring. No. You gonna start packing your stuff, don't you think? This isn't happening. Who who is this guy? Why are you so shocked? No surprise I beat you for the hundredth time. How can he beat me so easily? How have I never heard of him? This guy is the one who truly should have Why does he care? Are there other people out there better than me? I don't mind showing it, but... But I don't care? Oh, no, this guy's just a weirdo. Vincent, you've been making strange faces and saying nothing there for about three minutes now. You're starting to make me uncomfortable. Over tell me one thing. Why don't you care? Why don't you care about recognition? I haven't lost this spy master in years until today. Hate to admit it, but you're good. Too good. I already told you. Isis is first. It's true. He's alone. What happened? And not my problem. I gotta worry about finding a new place. I think you have no idea what you could get with your skills. Better place for you and her. And her everything she could possibly desire. You wouldn't need to work in that shop every day. I was able to get everything thanks to Spymaster. Imagine what you could achieve. Ah. What? Someday you'll understand, Vincent. Understand what? Everything you chase doesn't have any value. Oh, of course. I'm too young to understand your mature philosophy, is that it? Always talking with that air of superiority as if I knew it. As if you knew everything. Who do you think you are? Use your please. One has come to an end, and I'm getting out of here. You honor your bet? I'm um, sure, yeah. Million years. Hope so. Ugh. Now what? Huh? Over? Hey, what's wrong? Nice bags, dude. God, I can't get used to the abrupt change of light. What's wrong? Oh, my pillow. I can't believe this is still happening to me, even in a bedroom without anything. Ah, that's really pleasant for my sleep. What the heck is it? Here, take mine. Um, you sure? I never use it anyway. Uh, thanks. Um, but first, I gotta go to the bathroom. What's stopping you? Or, uh, well, I've got to be kidding me. No bathroom in here. Surprisingly, there isn't. Genius, Evan. Huh? I won't take long.
You get away this time. Still a shadowy figure inside. Ha! Ah. I thought I could catch someone with a portal. Who's afraid now? Where am I? And why is it nighttime here? Keep playing done, you're not going anywhere. Because that's it, there's no exit door. No restroom. Oh, really? And, um... How do you plan on getting out? To the portal, duh. The only way out is going back to the island. Oh. Amazing piece of technology. Yes, but you, my little stalker friend, aren't going anywhere. Not until you spill the beans. I don't know. Wouldn't want to ruin your floor. I'm not dreaming, am I? Who's your friend? Over, allow me to present our monkey. Huh? I didn't think I looked that bad. Jeez. Oh, I didn't mean that. Oh, so you like how I look then? Eh. What I'm trying to say is that someone treated me as some paranoid jitterbug when I said I saw someone, saying it must have been a monkey. Oh, so we actually were being followed. Who is he? No idea. He's not going anywhere until we find out. Hey guys, I'm right here. Well then, let's not waste any more time. Uh, what's wrong with him? Ignoring me. Seems familiar. Away by climbing up. This guy makes me feel so high. Bad times pass me by. He's listening to music. Or at least he's pretending to. He. <laughs> I'm sorry. I get awkward when talking with someone for the first time. Not good with girls. Actually, my headphones don't work. But I always carry them to deal with awkward situations. I like this one. People usually think I'm listening to something and leave me alone. Works pretty well, you know? Yeah. <laughs> sure, absolutely. I think it's time to stop the act, don't you think? I'm only gonna ask this once. Are you even following us? Just do it. About to give me a wet willy, right? What? Wet willy? Put on your fingers, stick it in my ear, you know, when they're picking on me? My friends always do that. What kind of friends are those? Why would I do something like that? Oh, I don't know, because I'm very teasable, I guess. This is what my friends always say. Someone needs new friends. I'm not gonna do that to you. I just want you to tell us who you are and what you're doing here. Oh, is that all you- Is that all this is about? That's easy. Would you do me a favor first? Me? Sure, what? Can you give me some more space, please? Kind of uncomfortable. Oh, sure. Sorry. Suddenly he doesn't have bags under his eyes? How's this? Perfect. Well then. My name is Andre. Andre Iger. Iger? 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 Whatever. I'm an explorer, but I prefer the word adventurer. Aren't you too young to be an explorer? Hey, thanks. Best compliment someone has ever given me. Other than mom, of course. Other than mom, of course. It wasn't a con. Why the island? Why not? It's a pretty place. It's quiet. Well, nobody teases me here. Finding this island is not particularly easy, you know. How did you know about it? The translator notebook. Fortunate enough to touch one of the last notebooks with my own two hands. You have one of the notebooks? I wish. Friend has one. Let me take a few pictures of it. More than enough to find the island and translate the monoliths. Oh, the monoliths. They're so rad. Feel your heart beating fast. Or pain, if that's what it is. Sorry, so I guess you really just for the message then. That must have been what brought you here. Over? We're in the middle of that, actually. But so. I see. I solved it already. But I'm going back. But what? Easy there, Orange Peel. I'm not taking it with me if that's what you're afraid of. 
That'd be pretty hard to do that. Once I learned what it is, was, I lost interest. Thought there was nothing else for me to explore here. Honestly. Thought this place would offer something a little bit more interesting. What do you... What do you mean? Oh, I don't know. It's just it wasn't what I was expecting. Why? The artifact? What is it? Um... Do you really do all this work just to have me ruin the surprise? What I'm trying to say is... You should figure that out for yourself. But... Is it... You know... Is it real? As real as you and me. If you weren't following us? What would I mean by doing that? Why did you run away from me in the valley? Haven't you noticed how difficult it is for me to deal with people? I was doing everything I could not to cross paths with you. You mentioned something about our time to talk is coming. Huh? I don't know what you're talking about. Have you run into somebody else? Is that in the case? Someone else there? No. I'm not fooling anyway, Andre. So, um... You know, I... You know when you're trying to leave, but you're struggling to come up with a compelling excuse. I leave now. Good night, Rex. We're hanging out, having sleep. I suppose... So it was just a misunderstanding. I'm not sure about that myself. But what can I do? Can't prove he's lying. We're sorry. Don't worry about it. You two have been kinder to me than anyone else I've run into. Other than mom, of course. Oh, actually, Andre, one last thing before you leave. Here. Look at name on someone named Evan Goldstein. Does that sound familiar? Um, Evan Goldstein. Oh, yeah. You know him? Yeah. I mean, everyone knows him, right? But if you mean, do I know him personally, I'm afraid I don't. This was too good to be true. But I haven't seen him around here either. I suppose though if I had seen him I might not have recognized him. I'll show him a photo of Daniel. By the way, that probably would have made our conversations easier to begin with. Yeah, I suppose you're right. Hold on, I've got one right here. Hey! It's not here. It's not here. I swear I had it. Maybe in the- ah, oh, forget it. Unlikely you've seen him anyway, he's not someone you'd forget. Okay. I won't keep you any longer, you can go whenever you like. Uh, before I leave, would you be kind enough to share some water? I ran out. And it's on the way back. i to take a flask. Oh, is everyone out here this nice? Thanks. What the? This is awful. What the heck do you two drink? What are you talking about? Just water. That's horrible. Oh, I get it. You're teasing me like my friends. Which I guessed. Good to be true. I know you got it all wrong. I don't like that. Here, pass me that. What is it? It's water. Right here. Here you go. Oops. Eric, I'm really clumsy. I'm so sorry. Don't worry. You okay? Yeah, I think my hands were too sweaty. But hey, look at it this way. Maybe I did you a favor. You can't drink stuff like that. It'll make you sick. Anyway. See you later, guys. Could you open the door for me, please? Oh, right. Yeah, I always forget. How do you get used to this? You don't. Be for yourself. Well... It was, um, a pleasure to meet you. Bye! Should you be fine? I nah, don't worry about me. Sturdier than I look. Very hard to believe.
Hey, Kara, okay? You too. Hi, Andre. Well, that was something. Tell me about it. And now I'm out of order to boot. And don't worry, I still got mine. We'll be okay. Hey, about the photo thing. I asked you earlier, I could have gotten a peek at Evan. Now I'm curious. Oh, the photo? Don't worry, I didn't lose it. I took it. Huh? Remember when I said it felt like someone touched me? You think he took it? I know he took it. I think I know why. I think the explorer bit and all the awkwardness was just an act. First I've seen in years. So he was following us then. Why? Who is he, really? So? I'm gonna be hanging here, Vanille. That guy Vincent you mentioned? When he gave you the notebook? What about him? Describe him to me. Um, tall, dark skin, slim, younger than he looks. Let me guess, single pink eye? Uh, how'd you know? Oh, you're creeping me out here. Bingo. I don't know how or why. It seems like you were friends with Evan without even realizing it. I know you two were connected in one way or another. Andre took the photo of Evan to keep me from showing it to you. That way we wouldn't realize you knew already knew Evan all, all, all this time. The real question, though, is why go through that trouble? He... he what? Why didn't he tell me? No, it's not possible. I saw his ID. His full name was Vincent Bell. Hmm, curious. Do you already know what's going on here? Not entirely, but I'm starting to put it together. What do I have to do with all this? Uh, if only I could tell him. Hey, it doesn't make any sense. I have a lot to talk about, Clover. Specifically, I'm very interested in how you met Vincent. Neil? I realize that finding Evan is important to you. Hawk is really ticking on Dysus. Now with Andre already figuring out the artifact... I know, don't worry. My questions can wait. Your sister is running out of time. I've got an artifact to find. I'm sure you'll be the one to find it. We'll have time to talk about it later. Thanks, Neil. Hey, go ahead. I'll catch you after I get dressed. I still haven't been able to use the restroom. Okay. There is no restroom. You gotta go find a bush and pee in it. Oh. I'm like, why can't I run? I could jump. Fingers were on the wrong keys. The usual Jim Poo fuck ups. You feel like, think revealing the details to me was important. Didn't you think revealing the details to me was important, huh? One foot in the grave, playing spy master like nothing's the matter. Oh, I suppose it explains a lot of things. Yeah. Yeah, and I feel like... Here, here's my theory. Vincent, aka Evan, sends Clover to the island where time has basically stopped so that he doesn't die while... Dice is, is actually his sister he was trying to save and he's just been on that island so long he doesn't even realize it. And his sister got saved by some other means. I don't know. Is my thoughts. Sorry. It's just that you're weird, Clover. Day after day, get up, make bed. Make breakfast for all of us. Go to work. Come back. Clean. Day in and day out, knowing what awaits you. It doesn't make any sense, but still you do it every day. Why? I can tell you why. Because tomorrow is not is not real, Vincent. The real thing is what's happening right now, right here. Right here, right now. <laughs> Good job. Father used to say investing in happiness tomorrow yields sadness today. No one exists is now. Today, more than ever, I understand that sentiment. I think one day you'll get it too. Let's hope I do. Anyway, Clover, I guess there's no use in saying get well soon. So, I guess I'll just say good luck. Don't worry. I enjoyed making you eat crow playing Spy Master. Ah. 
That was fun. Thanks for everything. If you ever need anything, you only have to ask. But if I don't hear from you, I guess this is our last goodbye. Just worry about filling your end of the bet. It'll be more than enough. In that case, you'll excuse me, I'll go serve my sentence. That's a bet. Good luck. Hopefully gonna need it. Bye, Clover. Yeah, I wonder how many zones there are, because it's like, oh, the game will take you like three hours to finish, but I've been at it almost four, so, you know. I suppose that's true. Oh, okay, well, we're in the last zone anyway, so we'll get it finished today. We just won't end it for at um Four hours will push it a little bit beyond. Here on the last part. Then I don't know why you brought us here. I still don't know what you're planning. But I want to let Clover be a part of it. Hey, Bess. Reset that puts that piece in place. Walls in the way. I want that to be the end result, I think. How do I get there? Translation coming along. 
Hello! I'm getting very, very close, so isn't that a good thing? I don't like where this is going. I missing It's a fuck up beyond repair. Okay, I got it. need that to be gone. See, that brings it back. That piece to be back.
bring that down. got it. What am I fucking up here? fucking up. Shit! <laughs> Fucked it up. I gotta remember how I did that. down. How did I do this before? I already forgot. Damn it.
No! How did I do that? I wish I could figure out how I did that. I think I need to watch my VOD to get myself back to where I was. I can't remember how I got there. I need that down. That block. There. I need those up. Fuck, how'd I do that? I also have no idea how I did that. Oh my god, this is annoying. It was too long ago in the VOD for me to get back to these last thing. Because I'm broadcasting right now, right? Yeah, I can't review it. Well, it's over. Is there a way to get them on alternating? Yes. Now they're on alternating patterns. Now, this is no longer a switch, it's just a green block. It's Jover, chat. It is Jover. Need them on the same rhythm. Hello, Ryudo. How you doing? I need them to be off when I land here. Tired as hell? Can't imagine why. What if... See, now I can't get back up. So that's, that's where that problem falls in. Rito is a magfest. Spend more than 15 minutes on a puzzle. Fuck you, achievements.
Good work, achievement. <laughs> it doesn't make me any feel any better. <laughs> Take your time. Spend more than 15 minutes to solve a puzzle. 27.4% of players have this achievement. Yeah, we'll compare it to Flannel. Does Flannel have it? No, Flannel doesn't have it either. Or does Gino. Actually, has Flannel even played? Oh, Flannel's never played. That's why she doesn't have any achievements. She owns it, though. I can't do that, okay. <laughs> You're bunnies. He's a funny man. I feel like the green is where it needs to be. What would I gain from having the green down there? Absolutely nothing. is I need the blue to be up here when I get to this point. But I need that to be over there too. I want the blue up again. I got everything where I want it. I need that bar gone now.
Yeah, Jim Poo, the one person who could make a three hour game take seven. Everything is down, so if I do this, the wall comes back. If I do this, the wall goes away. If I do this, the wall comes back. But I need the wall gone. Well, that is there. What fucking crucial... I suppose they shouldn't, but it helps me figure out what to play so that it doesn't take more than a day or two with you for you guys. The moment I step on this, it's gonna put the wall back. I need that to go like that. I need that to go there. I need this to go back up. Am I fucking up here? <laughs> it's just too high for me there. I was like, woohoo, I got it to work. All right, you need to go. I <laughs> don't understand, and there's no reset button. side. Put me in, coach. I have an idea. Damn it, coach. Oh my god, I'm free! Hey... I just want you to know, whatever their part turns out to be, I... I'll be here, okay? You can count on me. Yeah, he almost looks like Smite. Almost. And wrong color hair at all, but facial structure reminds me of Smite. Thanks.
That one took less time. There. That was the last one. Got the full message. What, what does it say? You know, when I was a little boy, there was this neighborhood kid I played with almost every day. Almost the same age, he was one year older than me. Lucas. That was his name. We'd always play in the park in my hometown. First thing every morning, Mom would make breakfast, I'd eat it as fast as I could, and head to the park. He was always there waiting for me. Didn't matter how early I got up, Lucas was always first. I remember one time I asked him if he slept there. He always carried his toy plane. I love that plane. Even though he was a good friend, the bastard never let me touch it. That pissed me off a little. One day I woke up and after having breakfast as usual, went to the park. He wasn't there. I was happy I finally managed to beat him to the park. I sat down to wait for him. But hours passed and Lucas never showed up. When I got back home, I learned that they had moved. That night my father heard me cry in my room and came in really worried. I told him what had happened. It was really sad, but I was a kid, so eventually I started to get over it. One day my father brought me a box that had come for me in the mail. I was really confused. It was from Lucas. He sent me a letter apologizing for not being able to say goodbye. He told me he'd miss me. He wouldn't forget about me. That's when the box was a gift. It was his toy plane. One day I was playing at my dad's office. I stumbled on the box for the plane. I realized he'd made the whole thing up. Obviously, I never said a word. But I never found out how he knew that I liked that plane so much. I never told him that detail. I was never able to ask him. Why not? He died from a strange disease a few years later. I always said if you want to be happy, make your loved ones happy. I was too young to understand. Not long after Dad died, Mom left us. She couldn't get the fear of the disease out of her mind even though it wasn't contagious. Fortune though, it's hereditary. As it turns out, my sis and I both inherited the disease. What? You too, Clover? I may have a few weeks left. And again, I may have a few days. Before the disease takes its course. Even worse, the disease progresses much more aggressively in women. I says my little sister, sooner or later the disease will kill her. The legend, this legend, this artifact, was my only hope. What does it say, Clover? Speak for yourself. Oh. Eternal is my son, and eternal will become. He who is who not abandons our sacred place because only on this land the same man is forever endless for eternity. I get it. It's the island. The whole island is the artifact. From what I can tell, the artifact's power is limited to those standing on it. That is, while we remain here, we'll be immortal. A stupid thing. What's the use of the artifact if I can't take it with me? We can just bring Dices here. Of course we will. What other choice do I have? But she'll have to live here forever. What kind of life would that be? There's never a deserted island for all eternity. We can find another way. Neil, would you would you excuse me for a bit? I need some time to be alone. Over. Go after him, little girl. It's your bro. That's my, my, my interpretation. Discover what it says. Or, why didn't you say anything? If only... Such an intoxicating fragrance, don't you think? Huh? Flowers. You... Am I interrupting something? No, no. Don't you think they're beautiful? I guess. 
Who'd guess the nectar is one of the world's most toxic poisons? Proper two kills an adult in a matter of hours. Funny thing, nature. So gorgeous and so deadly at the same time. Bottom of my heart. I believe it was made to end us. Divine punishment for destroying our home. Why are you here? It's such a shame, isn't it? Over situation. What if I told you? It's actually something we can do. Voice again. It was you. Upbringing isn't behind this, is it? You were the one who contacted me. Wasn't it fun, though? Playing detective. See, Dices. I've always felt an inexpressible obsession with mysteries. Detective stories, questions without answers. There's something so seductive in them. In real life, however, they're always so dull. I never like in video games or a good book. That's why I wanted to really take this to the next level, make it more interesting. You follow me? I took the liberty of designing all of this, that you could figure it out yourself. Every discovery would have been uncovered by you, and only by you. Evan, on the other hand, he wanted to make everything so obvious. He wanted you to know everything from the start. I should say that's not how I do things. Where's the fun in that? Where's the emotion? He wouldn't understand. Emotions can't be faked. They have to be authentic. They must be lived. I even managed to get someone with the same hit. You know what? Doesn't matter. What are you talking about? What's going on here? What is this all about? Oh, come on, Dysis. You still don't have a clue after all the work I've gone, I've done? You're just going to give up? I bet you're better than that. I don't appreciate a good mystery anymore. What's wrong with this maniac? Alright, I'll admit it. Maybe I didn't give you all the pieces. But I know you won't need them. You're something special, Dysis. Well, I think this last one will be enough. I've been aware of your observations. Remember your suspicions about the monoliths? Eureka, you were right. The question is why? Our friend had even adored Clover, and he wanted to leave him with a little present as the final goodbye. Well, I was an island capable of doing what the new message said. Follow me? No. No, no, no. You still wondering why you're here? Is this the right thing? I'm not sure what right even is anymore. Over? I- I've been thinking. I, um... I've got to... I've got to tell you something. I'm listening. My name is not Vanille. It's Dysis. Dysis anymore. Now's not the time for jokes. Just shut up and listen. Sorry. I'm all ears. Ever since I arrived on the island, I can't, I can't with this, it's too much for me. However, I don't get it. I really don't get it. Hey, hey. Relax, okay? Everything will be okay. I'm here with you. I know what's going on. Why do the worst things always happen to the best people? Why? Always the same. It's so unfair. Well, I like to think the universe has a plan for all of us. Besides, if I hadn't been sick, I would have never known you, right? You idiot, why didn't you tell me? You didn't want my disease to mark me. You didn't want to be treated differently. I wouldn't have treated you differently. You're doing it right now. It's just that... Okay. Breathe in. What is it you wanted to tell me? Ever since I arrived on the island, I couldn't get this coincidence out of my head. But I think I understand everything now. 
Clue me in. It's not that the island is making us immortal. Rather, the island is frozen in time. You understand? Time is not passing here. What's the difference? You arrived here before me. Time stopped for you the moment you set foot on this island. It didn't stop for everyone else. You left home and came here to save your sister when she was just a baby. But time went on normally for me. Until I grew up and came here. And that's why we're meeting each other now. I know it's hard to believe, but I'm Dices, Clover. You're Dices. What? What are you saying? When I took this job, they gave me a false name. I went not to reveal the real one. Until now. I think it's because they didn't want you to know from the beginning because of how absurd this all sounds. Now that you've figured out what the artifact is, it makes a lot more sense, doesn't it? Your name is Dyson Seymour. It is. How? How did you recover? I... Looks like I was never sick in the first place, Clover. It was just you. When Evan gave you the notebook and sent you here, he stayed and looked after me, didn't he? He was gonna look after Dysis while I was here, but that was just a little while. Pretty much a day ago. No, Clover, it was years ago. Time went by and you never came back. While on the island, we don't feel the passage of time. It just doesn't affect us. That's why our watches stop while we're here. Evan must have thought you had died, that you'd never come back. He had no other choice but to look after me. Obviously, he thought that wouldn't last long. He thought that sooner or later, my time would also come. Seeing how things turned out, it seemed that time never came. Imagine that's when he realized I wasn't sick, he decided to search a place for me. A family. And he did a good job of it. Until today, I never knew I had a brother. Actually, I never knew where I really came from. For a long time guessing that he found out how the island works. He assumed you'd still be here. That from your perspective, you had just arrived. After that, he contacted me, pretending to be up for him. He sent me here with the excuse of finding Evan, so that I would meet you. The only restriction they gave me was to hide my real name no matter what. I believe it's because they didn't want you to realize it was me from the beginning. First you needed to figure out how the island works. Just think about it, it all makes sense that way. Neither of us would have believed any of this if we were told about it from the start. That's why he didn't tell me either, he wanted us to discover it by ourselves. You had to wait for this moment. Are you sure about what you're saying? And I trust you. Look at me, Clover, it's me. I can't. I can't believe it. Dysis, Dysis, Dysis. Is it really you? You're right in front of me all this time? Yep. So much. I'll give you a hug. Of course you can, idiot. I was so scared. So afraid of losing you. Ever since we lost mom and dad, I only had you. Didn't want to lose what I loved the most. Doesn't matter. None of that matters. Now that I know you're fine. Because that's what I've always wanted. Can't believe how much you've grown. Staying healthy? Tell me about your friends. They take care of you. Has it really been years? Got so many questions, dear sister. <laughs> what happened to Evan? Why did he use a different name with me? It was a fake name he used to hide from the world. It was all part of his plan. He wanted to surprise us. He did it for us. Only managed. That bastard. Suppose he wasn't that selfish after all. 
Hey, why are you crying? Are you happy to see me again after all these years? I'm just... I'm happy, that's all. Me too, I don't ever want this moment to end. So happy I can die right now. Now and everything will be better. So I'll have to stay here if I don't want my time to come. You better visit. Above all that. Over? Matter. I'm just feeling a little dizzy, don't worry. No, he dies. Wrong. Something about the flowers and their poison, I'm sure. Over. Hey, wake up. What's happening? Get up. Someone help. Or say something to me, please. from here, are you? Wait a second. A hobo? Uh, I think you're confusing me with someone else. Brings you here, fella. I'd like to unmask about Clover. Clover. Her boy met a boy with such a kind heart. Boy, ever since he knew about my knee. Does the grocery shopping for me. Can you believe it? Who knows how to make an old man happy, haha. -ha. Jamie's going through all of that. Don't you agree? Huh? I'm not talking nonsense, would you? I don't get all young people slang these days. Talking about his disease and his remaining days. What'd you say? Is he ill? Didn't you know? Why does nobody ever tell me anything? Oh, um, well, it doesn't matter. Thanks for your time. Hey, I'm truly sorry, but now I don't have a... Oh, no, 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 no. I didn't come for that. I just wanted to ask about Clover. Clover. He's a personification of humility. If there's anything he loves, it's his little sister. Between you and me, he's a better father than a bunch of folks around here. Long since you knew about his condition. Huh? What are you talking about? Oh, and through a lethal disease and it's in an advanced state. So you weren't aware? Huh? Who told you that? He himself. I thought you knew. I had no idea since when. I'm afraid I'm not aware of the details. That's all I know. Anyways, thanks for your time. Pet the dog? Yeah, we can pet the dog. The tag says Apollo. Hey, kid. You look a little sunburnt, kid. I wanted to ask if you knew a guy named Clover. Clover? Oh, yeah, he's my friend, you know? One day we were playing bliss ball with my friends, and he was just walking by. He realized that they had left me out because I wasn't that good. He approached me and said, ignore them bliss balls for losers. You know how to play Spy Master? I didn't, so he invited me to his house and taught me. Ever since, I've won every single one of the Spy Master tournaments at school. I'm sure you'd beat me too. By any chance, did you know he was sick? Fortunately, it's unlikely that he'll get better, and um, he doesn't have many days left. Huh? What did you say? I don't believe you. You would have told me. You're lying. It's a lie. It's a lie. You're a liar. Hey, hey, easy. Liar! Yeah, kids don't take things good. Hey, kid, wait. Sorry for my grandson. But this news isn't just shocking for us. It's also really devastating. Clover is like a member of our family. I can't imagine why he wouldn't have told us. I'm sure he didn't want us to worry. It hasn't been the same since his dad died. It hurt all of us. He's had it the worst. He must really be going through a nightmare. Really nothing we can do. We had money. 
Wouldn't make a difference. According to Clover, there's no treatment. Have to wait and be with him until until. There's always a legend. A legend? I've seen again with that. Who is he talking about? <laughs> Bastian's the kid with the yellow and blonde hair that we see later on. <laughs> it's an old fairy tale from around here. It's no fairy tale. Where did you get that? I told you it was real. We found it with Cecil in a strange shrine when we were playing in the woods. This is a legend about and what is that notebook? An old tale that says something about a hidden island that holds a secret to eternal life. Though nobody has found it and never lived to tell about it. This legendary notebook, though it is said, reveals its location. Hey you stranger. What, me? Come here. I don't know who you think you are. Clover telling you his secrets doesn't make you special. He's still his best friend, understand? Bastian. Alright, alright, I'm sorry. In any case, stranger, I'd like to ask you a favor. Could you find the island for me? I don't want for Clover to leave us. It may be our last hope. I do it myself and Mom won't let me be outside after 8 o'clock. <laughs> Leave the poor man alone. Leave it to me. You really plan on going? It's just a fairy tale. I've got nothing to lose. In that case, I'll lend you my boat. I'll also make a bag of supplies for you. Well, hey, that just... that doesn't sound half bad. Well, we'll help in any way we can. Our friend of... Or any friend of Clover's is a friend of ours, too. Friend, huh? I'll leave immediately. Oh, great. How am I supposed to go back... And, uh, time to discover if what they say about you is true. We have to finish this tomorrow if... It makes me play through everything again. First word. I guess I'll be here for a while. Making me go through all this again? Gino, are you there? <laughs> You're not here at all? Do I have to go through all this again with him? Not all of it.
Let's get an achievement. By skipping a puzzle. Puzzles are easier to figure out. So Evan would have came looking for the island and spent all this time finding things out just to be like, oh. Got it figured out. No time has passed on this island. Let's see. Eternal Sun, our sacred place is not. Nor will become eternal he who looks for eternity. Say man who on this land of animals will know the search of it meaning lack. Consciousness was and is forever. I am less true eternity. What? What is that supposed to mean? That it doesn't exist? Yeah. Must have read it wrong. <laughs> Yo, she's a. What are we doing? I seen doing art. Thank you so much for the raid! We are just finishing up Evan's remains here. It's a puzzle platformer. I know you're around earlier to watch parts of it. Yes, welcome in, raiders. Uh, my name is Jim Poover. I streamer and artist. And, uh, hey, we're playing Evan's remains. A puzzle platformer. Um, with a story. A lot of story, more than anything else. That's a sad story. And we're at the end. Have any interest in playing it? I hate to say it, but it's a good idea to disappear. <laughs> but if you don't mind, then we'll continue. Then uh, stick around. Because, like I said, we're we're at the end. And uh, I would probably say that I recommend it overall. All right. Evan says, ah, I must have read it wrong. Eternal is not, nor will become meaning lax. What's supposed to do? Over. Please don't die. See, Vincent, I don't know what kind of fool you take me for. But you don't need to be a genius to realize you're hiding from something. If I win, I want you to go back and face it.
Hello. I uh, I was wondering if we could meet, please. Huh? Who's this? It it's me. Who? You gotta be kidding me. Vincent, is that you? Yeah, it reminds me of Mob Psycho. Hey, Constantine. How you doing? Not gonna lie here, I was pretty sure you were dead. At this point, I know you probably hate me. I really need to- I really need to talk to you. We're talking right now, aren't we? Face to face. I want us to settle this once and for all. Where are you? Write down the following coordinates. Okay, and don't worry, it's a safe place. Can I come alone or can I bring someone? Are they trustworthy? He's my right hand man. I suppose it's no problem. Oh by god, what do we have here? It isn't the prodigy. The most brilliant and promising mind the world has ever known. He will guide humanity to a better world. You done. You've been here all this time. What the heck is this place? Anyway, are you gonna tell me why you brought me here? Paul is waiting for me on the other side. I... I want... I want to reveal the truth to the world. <laughs> oh, you were serious. I get this straight, Vincent. You're returning to me what is mine. It's the least an author can demand, right? For all these years? Just show up all of a sudden and you deigned to do what you should have done from the start? Are you expecting a prize or something? Did you're something else, alright. Still acting like I'm the one responsible for all this. Like, I was the only Evan. You were as much a part of this as me. Why then was revealing the truth my responsibility? What was stopping you? You could have spoken up at any time, but you kept quiet. Did exactly the same thing I did. You want to know the teeny little difference, my old friend? You were the face. Let me ask you something. What do you think would happen if I, Andre Ager, decides to reveal the truth to the world? It'd just be one of those tabloids where ex employee from Area 51 reveals top secret info. No matter how plausible the testimony, the man never has proof. I don't believe him. Because he's lying? Most likely. But in many cases, it's the other way around. Of course, the government won't keep files in his name. And of course, they'd scrub every last shred of evidence suggesting he ever worked there. The absence of proof paradoxically becomes the proof. Not lying, I did work there, but they erased all the files and then my memories. Many bells? My name doesn't mean anything. However, if Mr. Evan Goldstein himself comes out and says something, that's a different story. And you know how people love faces. The story of the poor orphan kid who becomes a brilliant millionaire and wins everybody's heart. Psh. They don't seem to realize they've been told the same old story over and over again. And still, they always fall for it. I'm sure they would believe any nonsense that comes out of your mouth. We're doomed as a species, no doubt about it. Maybe more Evan than you, but as far as people are concerned, you are the only Evan, and that is that is why, my friend, the responsibility was on your shoulders. But instead, you just ran away. You ran away taking everything that should have been mine. Seems you weren't so upset with what they created after all. Do you think I enjoyed doing that? I had a good time seeing you like that? I think I didn't feel like the scum of the earth? Ooh, what's going on here? You have the slightest clue the, the hell I've been through since then? Why do you think I ran away? I didn't take being a part of that anymore. If you talked to me, we could have found a way. Why do you think I brought you here? I know I should have done it sooner, but I couldn't, Andre, I couldn't. You're keeping an eye on me more than you. I was the public figure, after all. And I was so little I could barely under- oh shit, I hit the spacebar. Didn't know who to call for help. I didn't have anyone. They kept me alone and walked away. I was so scared. 
But that's about to change. Don't you get it, Andre? Never about us. I'm not your enemy, nor are you mine. We've got one enemy in common. Ones who put us all through this. Ones who created Evan. I'm sure they also wanted this. Separate us. So resentment between us. Keep us silent to keep us alone against the world. That is what they always wanted. Are you gonna keep doing what they want? I didn't bring you here to keep fighting. What are you planning to do? Hold some press conference and spit everything out? Do you think the scenario ends up with you alive and breathing? I'll chase you forever, you know how that ends. I know, and I don't care. I've got nothing left to lose. Don't worry, I won't mention you. What the hell? Toss my name in too. What? What? We're gonna sync up, bring, we have to do it right. I'm in. Whatever it takes to tear them apart. Though they're so large, it might not make any difference. Greater good is what I heard, yeah. Oh, yeah. Slap a snooze there. Okay, I guess I'm not the only one who's changed. What I'm trying to say here is for all the pain I've caused, I just wanted to say that from the bottom of my heart, I'm sorry. Those words will never come out of your mouth. You feeling okay? On some spiritual retreat and find yourself? Seriously, where the hell are we? Well, actually, it's a long story. I think we've exhausted Nicola's, pati Nicola's patience as well. Well, alright. Sorry to say, it really is a very long story. I'll settle in. I'd settle in. Alright. I came here because it is believed that I kept secret eternal life. See that line of monoliths that goes along the seashore? The hieroglyphs, and... wait, I know this story. You do? Years ago, I heard rumors about Upbring having a secret base in a place like this. Bastards everywhere, huh? I didn't believe it then. Me neither, but in any case, the immortality thing is a lie. Just finished translating all the monoliths. It's obvious it's a lie. I'm surprised you fell for something like that. Any ideas? I have some? I don't know. I just hoped you'd come up with something. You're the genius after all. Everyone seems to believe that genius and magician are the same thing. You can't perform miracles, Vincent. So there's nothing we can do. Just joking, I'm not being completely honest with you. I can perform miracles and I do have ideas. Really? Oh, that doesn't mean you're going to like what I'm going to suggest. Better than nothing, I'm all ears. What does the message say? Eternal is the sun, our sacred place is not, nor will become eternal he who looks for eternity. Because the same man who on this land all ego abandons will know the search of its meaning lack. Only consciousness was and is forever. Endless true eternity. Okay, so now that Clover knows the truth, that's why he died, because it's no longer eternal. He thought he was looking for saving his sister. Perfect. But somewhat long, don't you think? We could make some changes. Changes? We could modify the message. What for? How the heck do you expect us to rewrite them? I don't speak ancient hieroglyph puzzle. I didn't say anything about rewriting them. Wait here. Vincent, come here. What is he up to? Look at this. Um, you opened a portal on top of the monolith that leads to the same monolith? We weren't paying attention, were you? Look closer. It's different. Do you exchange them? One from our left is now on our right and vice versa. Andre, what are you up to? I was wondering if it would be difficult to form a new message, and as soon as you read it to me, I realized it wouldn't be. You just exchange the monoliths and repeat others. Indeed, something totally different could be achieved. A message somewhat opposite than the original. 
is the sun, our sacred place is not, nor will become eternal. He who looks for eternity is the same man who on this land all ego abandons, will know the search of it meaning lacks. Only consciousness was and is forever in my endless true eternity. This is the original, right? 46 monoliths, 46 words. I propose the following. Eight monoliths, 28 words. Notice that I'm only changing the order of some words or repeating them. Finally, I discard the unnecessary ones. Eternal is my son, and eternal will become he who not abandons our sacred place because only on this land the same man is forever endless true eternity. Still don't get why we'd want to do that. Look, I've got an idea. Just let me do the talking and you keep your questions for the end. Go on. Your friend Clover, right? What is it that he wants the most above all things? To not die? Vincent, you really suck at this. Based on your descriptions, Clover only cares about one thing, his sister. Doesn't matter if he saved himself or not, he just cares about saving Dysus. And what we could do is give him precisely that. More accurately, we could make him believe that. I'm going to tell you this now, we can't save him, neither him nor her. We're on death's doorstep already. There's nothing we can, but we can make him believe the opposite. Imagine the following scenario. At Clover's house, with a notebook in your hands. You tell him, Clover, it's real, the legend is real. You give him the notebook and you tell him, come here for the artifact. You offer to take care of Dysus in the meantime, Clover, filled with hope, heads to the island. And he starts to decipher the message, monolith after monolith. Remember, though, this isn't the original message, but ours. Anyways, during his journey, Clover discovers someone else who was also sent to the island. It's a girl who's also looking for something there. The girl decides to join him in his search, and they become close. Clover completes the message. He learns that the whole island is the artifact. That the immortality is granted by the island from the moment you step on its shores. The disappointment sinks into Clover. Now that he knows the artifact is not something he can take home to Dysus, suddenly the girl comes up with the theory that it wasn't immortality that the island granted, but rather that the island exists outside of time as we know it. Time doesn't pass normally on the island, and as a result, hours, days, months, and years pass as usual there, keeping everything and everyone on it unaging, immortal, and eternal. That's when the girl also discovers that she is actually Dice's Clover's sister, who had been sent by you. Through the temporary gap that was generated, because remember, Clover arrived first, Dysus was able to reach his age outside the island and then head there years later. Clover obviously doesn't notice the span of years because he was on the island the whole time. In any case, getting back to the story, and just when Clover thought everything was lost, he realizes that what he's been looking for has been in front of him the whole time. Isis also reveals that she was never sick in the first place. Clover seeing that his sister has grown and lived a good life. She's alright and that they can still keep seeing each other as long as he stays there. He's happy. All his worries vanish, a smile spreads across his face. He decides to stay and live on the island, you know, to postpone his death forever. All days are happy, they're perfect. Isis visits him from time to time until the day comes when Clover eventually dies. But he dies believing everything, he dies happy. Beautiful, fantastic, the audience cries, laughs, give the applause. What do you think? It is all just... it all just came to me. Brilliant, isn't it? As if it was the ending of some emotional video game. It's the most twisted thing I've ever heard. I knew you wouldn't like it. You never like my ideas. Just listen to what you're saying. It's absurd. Vincent, look at this damn place. Eternal life and ancient civilization, a message engraved on monoliths. I think it's already absurd enough. You really think adding some extra details would make it less believable? Isn't this what you wanted? Doing something for him? Maybe we can't avoid his leaving this world, but we can at least direct how he leaves it. Give him a war of the end, full of venture and emotion. And die believing a lie. Look, Vincent, I'm sure that today somebody died believing you're a genius. It was their truth their whole life. I'm trying to get through this as quickly as possible. I didn't really want to run through another ad break. Truth only ceases to be true when you find out it's a lie. 
Clover will never find out. Though it won't be the truth for us, it will be for him. Even though if that truth just lasts an imperial, imperial moment. You can decorate as much as you like, a lie is a lie. And just, it's its not right. Feel right. I want to believe everybody deserves a happy ending. And suddenly that's not right? Our whole lives were a lie? What's the difference? Want to do something for Clover or not? Didn't you say you'd do anything for him? Let me recall. What was it? The other, what was the other option? Oh yeah, leave him to die at home with the baby who also dies. In absolute solitude. But anyway, I'm not gonna judge you. It's your decision after all. Where are you going? Hey, I, I just yeah, there's a lot. I just noticed that. They didn't make a separate sprite for when he turns and looks the other way to reflect that his eye, his pink eye, is the opposite side. Right now it's his left eye, and in this portrait it's his right eye. Aren't you going to join poor Clover on his final days? Time passes while we ponder. Hey, wait. Yes. A message. Your message is shorter than the original. What are you going to do with the remaining monoliths? You'd be surprised all the problems that high-powered explosive can solve. You're gonna blow them up? What, afraid someone's gonna hear us? We're in the middle of nowhere. The girl. Who's the girl? Who's Dysis? An actress? No idea. We'll find someone. Promise me, promise me whoever she is, that she agrees with all this, let her know all the details. I promise. Andre, do you really believe something like this could work out? I don't have the slightest idea. But you know how much I indulge in making an idea come true when it takes hold of me. Let me know what you're doing. Tell me how I can help. Oh, no, no. Leave it to me. I'll take care of all the island business. You make sure to convince Clover to come here and to take care of the baby. When this is all over, we'll bring down Upbring. Together like old times. You can trust me. This has got a little bit of a twist, uh, twist here. Discover the truth. Hmm? Where am I? These sheets. I'm not at home, but I feel like I am. God, my head hurts. I don't know how I got here. The last thing I remember is in that whole act in front of Clover. Clover. I need to see if he's alright. So much light. I can't stop the ad. This sucks. Oh, it let me snooze it? Okay. I didn't think I could get away with that kind of snoozing. No, Clover. I always thought I had everything. Everything anybody could ever want. Money, fame, power. Funny thing is, when I disappeared, no one really cared. It was all over the news, sure, but there wasn't anyone genuinely worried about me. No one wondering if I was okay. Honestly, I don't blame them. It was when I asked the neighbors about you that I realized that actually I never had anything. Rest in peace, friend. Rest in peace, Dysis. Who just woke up? Tell me you don't find it strange. What? Him dying at such a convenient moment. Too convenient, I'd say. If it happened just a few hours earlier, everything would have gone to waste. How did you know so precisely when it would happen? It. He killed him. I knew the flowers were in there for a reason. I didn't. You little lying sack of shit. We killed them. That's reassuring. Good. Now are you gonna start preaching to me about right and wrong too? What? Why are you looking at me like that? Hey, I just lied to him. He lied to the whole world. He deserved a little punishment, didn't he? Because he went to talk to her. He'll find out eventually. You think he'll get mad? Of course he will. And he'll remember that my way of doing things once again worked. I'll forget about it. I want to ask you something. Do you really believe that if she had known everything from the start, 
Her connection with Clover would have been as authentic as it was. Nobody wants to be a part of a farce. I didn't force anyone to do anything. She saw all his pain and lying to him was the least she could do. She decided to do it. And it's not about lying or telling the truth. Ours is about doing the right thing nor the wrong thing. It's about getting results. I guess it's easier to just call me the movie's villain. Okay, it will give let me use all my snoozes up. I guess we all have our little lies. Yeah, it was a lot of dialogue to finish the game up. <laughs> it's a lot later than I thought it would be. Oh fuck, I know where we're going. That was an easy thing to look at. Congrats on finishing the three hour game in five and hours and ten minutes. <laughs> yeah, thanks everybody. Just let me go. Let me do that little bit of talking bit here. All the credits run. I gotta pull up the thing. We'll see. Hello, everybody. I hope everybody had a good day today. Uh, again, my name is Jim Poo. I'm a variety streamer and artist. Follows here anonymous, so feel free to drop a follow. You won't get called out for it. I try to have a chill time here uh, on this channel with mostly cozy games, but I do play some retro and roguelikes for a challenge. Currently, we uh, just finished up Evans Remains, a puzzle platformer, cozy Monday type thing. I didn't expect it to be as deep as it was. Uh, not gonna lie, my throat hurt a little bit reading some of those lines. They were a bit harder to read. <sighs> Yes, it means I have emotions. Fuck, where'd those come from? Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed it and you decide to drop that 100% free follow. Um, Whoa, that water's cold. It's not why my throat hurt. <laughs> but yes, I'll drink some water. My throat hurt because I was trying not to cry, okay? This is the second freaking game that's done that to me on stream. Yes, there's benefits to having a VTuber. You can only hear the stuff, you can't see it. <laughs> I'm just wondering if there's any way to speed up the... I'm gonna guess this is all like, I didn't notice if this was all like the Kickstarter supporter things. I wanted to find a way to speed up, but this dev looks like... Kickstarter names. A lot of people to thank otherwise. With interesting names like Space Wyvern and Fire Dog. I, I just don't believe those to be real people names or 53XY83457 or SCP095JP. Nimble Point. SDA. There's no way to pass it. I'm like, spacebar! WASD! Escape! Nothing! Okay. You usually do go out with, like, stuff. Uh. It said Kickstarter things. Okay. But, uh, while this is finishing its playthrough, we're gonna go ahead and 
do up that uh, raid to uh, our, our great friend Ryudo. He's already off streaming something. Retro, right? That's what it said, retro. Hopefully there's nothing after. Oh, he's doing Mega Man 5, okay. Hopefully this is just the thanks for playing. Can wait, fuck you! Fuck you, Fizz! Fuck you! Oh, come on! There's more stuff to talk? What is this place? I thought I'd be done by now. I got three minutes. Let me cancel the raid real quick. This is where everything changed for me. I hit a small town near the island when I needed to vanish. See, but how did you find this place? By accident, really. I was looking for somewhere off-grid, totally disconnected. I didn't want anyone to recognize me. So I started visiting islands in the middle of the Pacific, little towns. Eventually let me discover this island. A better place to disappear than a tropical oasis. Okay, but why'd you bring me here? I want you to meet someone very special to me. Follow me. Game? Oh, what is this thing? It looks like something out of an ancient history documentary. It's an ancient monolith. Well, this one is an ancient as Andre created it for our message. It's something. Oh, kind of like a hieroglyph. Yeah, basically, but you don't get to interact with it. It's kind of like a game or a giant puzzle. No way, I love puzzles. Can I try? Yeah, slow down there. Let me show you how it's done. Follow me. Watch your step. You're gonna just fuck it? Okay, we can't. We'll have to come back to this tomorrow to finish it up. I can't. Can't snooze anymore. So we're just gonna re-redo that raid. Sorry guys. I thought it would have been over. We'll just do it tomorrow. No big deal. I'm back tomorrow, normal time, what? Uh five hours ago. Besides, it looks like I've lost some frames and I'm losing my connections going in the poopers. It was yellow for a second there, now it's back to green. Either way, yeah, let's go visit Ryudo. Um, we'll finish this up first thing tomorrow, and we'll do some uh, roguelite, uh, probably vampire survivors or something tomorrow. Uh, in the meantime, take care of yourselves. All that stuff. Thanks again for hanging out. Not following, please do. I will catch you all later. Also, I have to pee. That's the other reason I'm getting out of here. Bye-bye.